I'm still young enough to play. I'll keep playing till my child replaces me. Hi Vicky, how are you doing? Doing amazing. Vicky, national selection tournament going on. You played your uh, second match uh, in two days now. Uh, very jam-packed schedule, a lot of uh, talented guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole selection tournament? I mean, it's good. Obviously, the schedule is hectic. It would have been great to have a break in between because we just come out from a franchise league. Uh, but I guess the objective also is the fact that in the World Cup, we're going to be playing a similar kind of schedule. So if you can test the fitness here and people are fit, then I guess we're ready to play the World Cup. So it makes sense. Uh, you have played uh, probably uh, the most World Cups for the UAE Indo team. You know, hopefully barring uh, Saki Bhai, if I may say so. Um, I'm, I'm just an assumption here. But uh, having so much experience, uh, what kind of uh, talent uh, you know, do you think is going to go and get picked uh, from this tournament? I mean, ideally, it will be a combination of experience and youth. Um, I don't think we should go with complete youth. I don't think we should go with complete experience. It does help because playing at international level, I think a lot of the knowledge can be passed out to the youngsters. Um, and it is a young sport game, but I think experience also helps seeing from the last franchise league where me and Sakhi have entered the finals. Absolutely. Now, uh, you, good point you mentioned about the young people, you know, young players coming through. Uh, for the last what, two years, uh, almost two and a half years, uh, we've seen uh, post-COVID a lot of uh, franchise tournaments happening. And a lot of these young guys who are giving you know, more experienced players like yourself a lot of competition. Uh, are you happy with the young uh, cricketers that are coming through the ranks? Uh, it's good, but I think there's still a lot of potential and a lot more opportunity. I feel like uh, there's a lot more youngsters outside who probably should get exposed to indoor cricket. Um, I frankly feel, unless you play a few games uh, and you feel that whole pressure of playing indoor cricket, um, you'll probably love the game. Uh, right now, the number of people coming in is not as high. Yes, it's coming good, but I think a lot more people, if there's some kind of program to get youngsters in, under 19 somehow players in, I feel like there's a lot more strong youth who's available to play for indoor cricket. Absolutely. I mean, see, um, from uh, your experience, let's say the last 10 years that you've seen the game grow here in UAE. 10 years. Uh, over 10 years. 20 years. 30 years. Yeah. We'll do that. Take two. If you stand still, that is. Okay. Okay, now, um, in your experience of so many years, uh, Vicky, uh, you've been around for a long time. Uh, you don't look it, but you have. and. Uh, uh, what have you got to say about the you know the current uh, game uh, status in the UAE uh, local circuit? Because as far as I am concerned, as a, as a bystander or as a neutral person watching the game, I love the way you know a lot of guys are throwing themselves around. You know, um, uh, hopefully, God willing, not having getting too many injuries. But there is a huge uh, change in the concept of game. You know, right through the divisions, even in the lower divisions, you see people doing the taps. A lot of different skill sets are coming down. Obviously, the 2017 World Cup in the UAE helped that because people saw firsthand what happened. But you, as a player who's been in the thick of things, uh, what are your opinion on it? Like, uh, you think it's a great thing that is coming through, or is still a lot of things are still to be done? No, I think there's uh, a huge, massive improvement from probably the time we played the first time the World Cup. I think at that time we were happy beating Singapore, Malaysia. Now we're aiming for New Zealand, Australia, and the top ranked South Africa, England. So having the tri series here, winning that, playing a lot more series, um, even the Masters playing in South Africa, it gives us a lot more confidence. And I don't think any other country is playing as much cricket as us. So that makes a huge difference because you can see now every single one in the background are tapping. Uh, it's not about hitting the ball. So everyone's got the, the tricks. They're watching a lot more cricket. They're playing a lot more cricket and eventually cricket is going to develop because of this. So I think it's 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 going well and it's only going to get better from here. Alright, now uh, last question. I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you got to go home and go to the office tomorrow. Um, how many more World Cups uh, does Vikram Shetty have in his career? Uh, as many as you want me to play, my friend. <laughs> if I'm still young enough to play, I'll keep playing till my child replaces me. Inshallah, man. I hope and pray, and I know the guys who will be watching this video will hope and pray that we see Vikram Shetty here until his beard grows completely green. So, wish you all the Thank best you. for that. Thank you very much. Yes. See you. Bye bye.